Hey there, everybody. Sloppy here. Happy midweek day. It's Wednesday. Here in week two of our every day series. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that intro was. I doth apologize. Yesterday, last episode, um, we made two different ways to get infinite fuel, which was super great, and I'm really happy we're starting to get infrastructure. Which is great, because, you know, eventually I want to start building, and having the infrastructure in place, you know, allows you to really, um, to do that without too much stress. We've got the mine in place, we've got more resources than we've ever had before, we've got infinite lava, and I want to continue that trend of being a stupendously brilliant Creativeverse player, um, something that nobody has ever called me before. So... And we are going to continue that um, methodology. What? Yeah. Today, I want to get all of the liquids in the game, except perhaps Corrupted Water. So, for anyone new to the game, there are seven types of liquids in the game, and you can farm all of them in an infinite source quite easily, which is what I want to um, get done today. The other thing I would really love to get done today, which is a little bit of an aside, is uh, I'd love to finally upgrade to iron armor because I am tired of dying, you know? If I'm honest, I'm a little tired of dying. So that's something. But that comes in correlation with something we need to do, which is explore a little bit to, uh, to get bog water. So the seven types, before we get too far, we have normal water. So that's what is in the world on the surface here. Um, it's everywhere, normal water. We have bog water, which is a green water that's only in swamp biomes. We have mineral water, which is the healing water I got stuck in just now. That's at the stalactite layer. We have tar, which uh, is this black water, which um, you can use to get coal and diamond. Um, it's also used in some recipes. These are all used in recipes for cooking, by the way. Um, is good. We have molasses, which I found out only comes in the form of mob drops and maybe treasure chests. I'm not sure. I was actually curious about this. I couldn't remember where you find molasses. Turns out nowhere. You have to get it as a mob drop. It is also used in recipes. More specifically, it is one of the main things for the um, Christmas holiday recipes. So, oh my gosh, I just realized it's like December. It's the Christmas season and I'm not building with gingerbread? Oh, I am a disappointment. Anyway, uh, the other one is lava, which is at the lava layer. Um, yeah, can't really place it on the surface because it turns into hardened lava, but yeah, lava. And then corrupted water, which is the water at the corrupted layer, corruption layer. Uh, anyway, these are the seven. So there are two we're gonna need to travel a little bit to get. We have uh, molasses and bog water, which works perfectly because I did want to travel a little bit. You can see I've got a bunch of teleporters I, I want to put down in the world. I want to um, get a bunch of the different biomes that have some of the other blocks so that we can sort of easily travel. And of course, we're going to need to find a canyon biome and get a bunch of trog horns, which um, I'm hoping with our new sword uh, won't be too much of an issue. So, that's the plan for today. Get some fancy armor and get all of the different liquids, except perhaps corrupted water. We're gonna build the infrastructure to put the infinite liquids. And I say build the infrastructure. We're Why do I keep saying infrastructure? I don't know. I don't use three syllable words. I don't use four syllable words. Uh, my corrupted water, I think I need, um, I think I need the Lumite Gauntlet Core to actually pick up. Yeah, I used to pull Corruption Layer or I think I need this to get that block, which I not have yet. Anywho. So there was one thing I want to change before I go out um, flying and stuff. And I actually did not realize, so I turned it on hard mode, which I thought would only affect... I didn't really know what hard mode was, so uh, up here, difficulty preset. Uh, it changes multiple options, 
so you can click the advanced settings to see them all. I did not realize that's what this did, but it turns up a bunch of the settings. Um, yeah, okay, so I was right. A percentage of stamina consumed by the Gauntlet Smash, it used to be 150 of 200. So it looks like um, this game mode ups it to one, so you get full stamina. Interesting. Okay, it actually also changes the stamina, so it just makes it a lot more difficult to play the game. Um, I'm going to change this down to two. Um, I'm going to be traveling a bunch, and honestly, it just takes more time if my stamina drains really quickly, and it doesn't really affect gameplay, I don't think, that much. You also get more stamina drain while sprinting. Interesting. The hard mode does all sorts of stuff. Okay, so let's see if that changes a lot. Oh, yeah, that is so much better. Look how far I can... That takes so much less stamina. That is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Uh, I need a bunch more stuff before I go traveling, but I'm about to go traveling. And, uh... So Nightmare Mode must just crank the settings then. Oh, I can't imagine. Teleporter 1 installed. We've got the mineral water just in case. And... Peak stone. Yeah. Beautiful mountain chain. Beautiful, beautiful mountains if we need to come chase Rambo or whatever. Also, just so much peak stone if, you know, we want to build with it. Well, I forgot it existed, but I'm in the mysterious uh, other biome. No, this is just... A silly joke, because I hit the edge of the map. Um, found a bunch of good biomes on our way. Let's head home. Did find a canyon. Found a very large canyon. Actually thought I found a swamp. Turns out uh, swamp trees can just be in forests, which is kind of cool. Also found, I think, a few like new biomes I didn't know existed. Uh, like Frozen Desert had canyon blocks underneath. I don't know if that's always been a thing, and I just forgot. That's very possible. Um, but yeah, we've got... Quite a few different biomes now, which is great news. Also found a large autumn wood biome, which is so gorgeous, you know? Anyway, um, we are going to go trog hunting shortly, but I really uh, do want to find bog water before we do that. So, um, I guess I will <laughs> head north. Yes. Oh, you can see the giant canyon there, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll head north now. I think once I find all the biomes, I'm going to turn off fog, just because I'm curious what the world looks like. Um, but until then, time to journey some more. To the north! We did it! Giant... <clears throat> I just had spicy food and now I can't talk. Giant swamp. Also check this out. Swamp Trog. How cool is that guy? He's definitely going to body me. Uh, okay. You know, maybe we admire him from a distance. Nothing wrong with that. Hello, friend. Hi. No, I think you're great. Okay. Uh, swamp Troghorn. Interesting. Hmm. That's in any recipes. Anyway, we found it. <laughs> Yay! And, uh, yeah, we can, uh, get some bog water. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Confirmed. We cannot use whatever that one is for this uh, recipe. No, this also doesn't. <laughs> what are you used for? Used to craft. Maybe some of the weep wood blocks? I'm guessing they do look really cool. Oh, there's no more around. I will say that the design of that character is super, super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay! All right, we only need one more, and then we can uh, start building up the infrastructure, I think. Yeah, that'll be cool. Okay, cold mobs. That's pretty easy to fight, but I do think... How many trog horns do I have? Two, five, seven, ten. Hmm. And trog horns. I guess let's try and uh, do that for a bit. I don't want to talk about this one either. 
Well, look who I found. Hello, sir. Um, sure. What am I doing? The pesky creature. Okay. There's one down here. Oh, two down here. Chizards. Okay, there's more. Excuse me, sir. Things I do for... They're the things I do for love. That might be a little strong. We just met. Hello, sir. Uh, where is the other one? Such a awkward landscape to <laughs> have an event. Go. Beat the trough. Oh, actually, I need this. I've been having trouble finding troughs. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize how low my health was. What is wrong with me? Come in. Oh, I'm playing on hard. I was going to say, they definitely upped fall damage, but probably just a modifier in this specific world. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the game just said you did great. Uh, I'm pretty sure I died, but thank you. I don't know what it means by I did great. I did not do great. I failed miserably, but uh, whatever. Thank you, Mr. Game. So, also I found out if you mouse over and then press the button, it puts it into that slot, which is really, really cool. It's something Minecraft's always had. I did not know this game had. I'm not sure if it did, to be honest. Ooh. I really have to be more careful. I am just reckless. Four of these guys, apparently. Oh, he's still here. Okay. Hello. Or are you a different one? Who are you? What's going on here? I am bewildered. For this guy, I'm fighting you, right? Uh, any more? Okay. Strange. I feel like I'm in between two fights. I'm just, uh, where's the other chizard? There. Now there's Trog. Okay. Get our health back. Does Zoomite armor does does higher level of armors do different for fall damage? I wonder. I don't know. There we go. I did great. Aw. Aw. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, you're also no. I I don't need to do two of them. Well, maybe I should for the Trogs. Back. I'll go back for that lady. Uh, the other guy was up here. Try and get up this mountain. I am just completely bewildered by what is happening. Looks like there's two more enemies to fight on my map. Is that just another villager? Is that what's going on here? To be honest, I kind of forgot they were in the game. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. You know what? This is actually just a good way to get trogs to fight, so I'll take it. Go. Yep. Um, yeah, by the time I... F you know what? It'll be nice to have some villagers, too. time I do this, I think I'll have enough for my next armor, which is great. 
just... Uh, I guess I didn't even think about the fact that I would have to go and get new, uh, get new villagers and stuff. Heal up. I'm getting... I'm, I'm, I think I might just be bad at this game, if I'm being honest. One of these. Alright, alright. Hello, sir. And I'm out again. I'm out again. Fly over here. Got a new strategy. <laughs> this is the ultimate and cowardly play. And okay, yeah, that's that. Sorry, I'm just uh, I'm just going off here. I think yeah, okay, that's two villains. But I don't have the villager upgrade, so I can't actually do anything with any of them, right? Devil Skull. That's good. I wonder what the drop is from their uh, uh, weird ones, the new variants. Interesting. Okay, how many Trogorns? Twelve! I can make the armor. Let's go home. First things first, let's add to our strangely ever-growing collection. Cool. And then let's uh, maybe do something that can make this collection stop growing. So, here is all of our iron armor is super cool so right now we're at 140 defense let's find out Ooh. 200 oh wow it literally doubled that is spectacular okay that makes me feel so much better um so for the diamond oh we actually need the swamp troghorns interesting Lava stones and swamp trog horns. You know what? That's actually very achievable. This is actually not that hard. Hmm. Actually, pretty achievable to get even another upgrade of armor. I want to just try and go for it. Mm. Let's put a maybe on that for now. I do want to um, go fight some cold mobs to get the molasses. Um, so we're going to go do that just so we have all of the stuff up to Lumite. Try this guy out, though. Oh, right. I would need to make... Uh, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't made a wiring tool at all yet. Interesting, interesting. Alright, let me put away my stuff. We are going to go farm some cold mobs until we get molasses. Okay, uh, I'm in a taiga. And honestly, I'm not sure what best animals to hunt for this is. Uh, I'm guessing it's just a random drop. There's like a bunch of them. Like, rainbows kind of make sense because they're a holiday mob. They were, I guess. Uh, makes sense they would at least like have a chance at dropping it, right? Uh, but it might also just be complete and utter random luck. So, um, yeah, let's just go and hunt. And oh, I hope it's not nighttime mobs. That would be weirdly annoying. Uh, but yeah, this is what my next amount of time... I I feel like it's these guys. I don't know why, I just feel like it's blizzard chizzards that drop it. Hmm. Well, found out what they drop. Snow flurry flurry. <laughs> Used to craft. So, it looks like they've really increased the number of things that you need mobs to craft. Which, uh, I actually... Boy. That's how I roll, right? Um, but I'm actually, like, I'm really, I think that's really cool. Oh my gosh. I feel like the health bar just disappears sometimes. So, this is fun. <laughs> this is where I died, and apparently it went underneath the ice. Um, so... Luckily, I ground pounded over here, so there was already a hole. I would have been so annoyed if I had to go, like, 
get a thing and then come all the way back. Right. Um, I have not found molasses yet, as you saw. I just, you know, uh, something happened. I don't want to talk about it. It's not a big deal. It happens to everyone. Just another one. You know, I'm just collecting decorations at this point. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to try some nighttime mobs. I think maybe nighttime mobs will be the ones I'm looking for. I uh, cannot believe how bad I am at this game. <laughs> oh no, it did it again, didn't it? Oh. Oh, come on. Go under the water again? Swim this far from here? Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> I actually froze this time. I wasn't attacked, and I did like an emergency fireplace. Um, that... Uh-oh. I don't think I'm gonna make it. This is so dumb. Oh, boy. Uh, you know what? Okay, if I grab it, quickly dig up, I might have a shot. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this is bad. Wow. Wow. It didn't even... Okay, it didn't actually even get down. You can see this. I put the fireplace, but it switched back into my inventory, I guess. Oof. Okay. Um, so... I was reading a bit. Uh, Chizzard, Blizzards, Rambos all have a random chance to drop this. Um, but you can also get it if you tame them. So if we were to tame one, it's like one of their drops. So that, you know, might be a better option than doing this. But, uh, you know what? We'll do mobs another time. I don't feel like making a bunch of stun bombs right now. So I'm just gonna keep trying to get it this way. You know? Just mercilessly. Without mercy. What merciless means, right? I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm just... Please come back. Please come back. We did it! Eight molasses dropped from a blizzard jizzard. Oof, okay. You know what? We got a bunch of resources. I'm sure the rainbow antlers are probably used for some of the blocks. Like, I think... I'm just assuming every mob's drop is used for something now, which is really, really cool. Also now just realizing how much of an effort it'll be to get one of every one of the mobs. Wow. Oh, that's really cool. I like the trees. Done a nice job with those colored lights. Anywho, uh, let's go back to Experiment Mountain. <laughs> what I'm calling this place. Experiment Mountain. Ding! Alright, cool. So I started this episode saying I wanted to build a little bit of an infrastructure for our things, which is true. Um, yeah, these two I think I'm going to put in their own building because they require a little bit of a special touch. Uh, but these five, we are going to do a little thing out front. I don't know how much time I have left in this video. I might already be over time. But I was thinking around here, we're going to do something. Uh, this is New Block Corner. So right here, we'll have Liquid Alley. Just making up names at this point. Experiment Hill, New Block Lane, and Liquid Alley. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me... Get a little bit of something in place. I kind of have an idea what I want. So, yeah. And just quickly on the mechanics of what I'm doing. Um, so for anyone new to the game, the way to get infinite liquids is uh, if you set up something like this, where you have a ditch for the water to flow into, you have a place to place it. Um, this actually doesn't need to be three long. It can be five long. It can be one long. 
Um, but basically, you just need somewhere for the liquid to flow. And then if you mine from here, as long as you're not mining the source blocks, it's just an infinite supply of whatever liquid you have at this layer here. Then you can set up a bunch of them next to each other, and you can come in here and just continuously mine them, which is pretty cool. You could even do multiple liquids in the same area, which, you know, kind of a neat idea. Say that like I'm about to do it. I'm not. I'm going to have each of them have their own little spot. But uh, that is how the liquids in the Krataverse works. Okie dokie. So, in terms of building, I want this to be kind of a uh, stable, I suppose. Uh, unfortunately, mud is terrible. <laughs> so, I'm going to use overturned grass for our block. This is where the liquid's going to flow into. Um, and I frame that with the underside of the stone roof because I think that's a really nice looking block. And then we're going to put just kind of a lean-to structure without really like walls and stuff. So it's going to look kind of like a weird stable. Um, but I think that'll be kind of a cool kind of close in this area and then we can do pads and whatever. Um, yeah, I do want to do animals and stuff, but I think I'll do it out the back here because we have more space and there are just so many of them. Um, yeah. So this is cool. I really do like this. We've got the mine out front. Um, so yeah, this will be sort of the uh, thing. It'll be kind of like a lean-to where we'll have like structures and a roof, but not really like maybe a wall this side, wall that side sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to figure out what I want to do for all of that. I also need a place to actually put the liquids. Which, okay, so if I'm at this height, probably want to go two up for the liquids so that I don't accidentally find them. Like, if I'm at this height, we probably want the liquid at this height think. I'm gonna try and think of a way to kind of like cleverly hide it though because I don't really like I don't want this to look bad. Seems obvious. It's been a long day. Well we've got all the I'm gonna say infrastructure again. We've got all the pieces in place so now we just put the liquids up in here and uh, we are all set for those five liquids, I've done a little bit of design sort of try to figure out what I want. Um, I'm not really too sure yet. Not sure I really love where this is going, but uh, I don't dislike it, I suppose. I think once the liquids are in, it might look kind of neat. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to try and put the liquids in next and just sort of see how it looks. I was thinking it might be kind of cool to use thatched wall as a roof. And I would give it that like real old school look. Hmm. And here comes the big moment. This episode's getting far too long. I assume I haven't checked because I'm scared to. So yeah, we'll just put these in. Uh, glasses, I'm kind of going in color of, order of color, I guess. Nope, 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 you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. Oh, and now that block's gone. This is, this is going well. Okay. Uh, that and beep. Ah. Yeah. Those are all flowing cool. Uh, part of the reason I wanted to leave this open is I thought it would look cool to have like these sheets of liquid. Which I actually think it does. And... Yeah, I, want, I almost want to get rid of the pillars because I think this looks like really cool without them. Get rid of the one in the middle for sure. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. Yeah, 
Look at that, that looks cool. Almost wanna bump this. Yeah. Liquid stable. Liquid stable. Um it's, it's slick. Okay, let me quickly try and finish this build. Uh yeah, let's get a roof on it. Look at that. Thatch wall slopes, thatched wall, blah blah blahs. All sorts of them. Also, I think, yeah, part of the new update was getting like all of the different uh, ones with all their stuff. So there's plenty of new blocks if you're uh, looking for some interesting stuff. Like the shredded leaves. I think I prefer the shredded leaves. Okay, we'll try out both maybe. Um, okay, I think I do like thatched wall more. Uh, it's not going to be a super tall roof. I think maybe one more up, and then we're going to bring it across. This might be enough. Right on top. Wondering if this is like... That's like enough. Mm, let's see how it looks. One more block higher. I hate building roofs. Yeah, I guess we'll go that extra block. I'm now looking at this, and I think this might look okay, like, mixed in. Like, not as the sort of primary block, but kind of mixed in to, like, make it look like parts of the roof are, like, you know, a little bit, uh, like, uneven or something. Try that. Yeah, it kind of works, like, kind of makes it, gives some variation, kind of looks like maybe that part is like a little iffy. And lastly, do I want to do like an overhang on the side here? Yeah. So we'll bring that up, we'll bring it back, just got to finish off that roof. And we are all set with our weirdo little, <laughs> real weird little uh, stable for liquids. Yeah, that's a weird thing to say. The, oh, this is actually works out well because I can't even reach where the source blocks are, so I don't really have a risk of uh, pulling them up. The only thing I guess is I can't really AFK because uh, like it's exposed to the open. Although I guess maybe I could fence in the whole area and then I'd be fine. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this roof so I can finish this episode. Alrighty, we've got a roof. I actually really like it. So we did some of the, uh, the I don't know what these are called. Threaded leaves mixed in with the thatch. I think gives it, you know, just a little bit more character than it normally would have. I also on the roof did uh, some of them like slanted different ways. Um, just to kind of give like a little bit more, you know, feeling to it. Um, and yeah, I don't know what I really want to do for like lighting or anything yet. That's why I'm kind of like, eh, we'll see. Uh, for now, I'm just going to do... That. Yes. For now, I'm just gonna do some torches. Um, I'm also not sure what I want to do with the walls yet, but I think there'll probably be something on the back and something on the side. Uh, but it's also gonna depend a little bit on like how I shape the landscape a little bit, which we'll be doing. Um, you know, the episode's coming up. There's so much I want to do, you know, that it's all just kind of like playing and and seeing. Hey, I really, uh, really wanted to get the liquids. And we got them. We got them. We've got the five main ones. The other two, um, like, lava will kind of probably have its own spot downstairs, maybe, with the rest of the lava. Then Corrupted, we'll see. Might do something sort of special for Corrupted. These are, like, the five main ones, though. I kind of wanted them to have their own little space. Anyway. Uh, lots of exploring done. We've got a whole bunch of new locations for the teleporter, which is great. We can get around a little bit more easy. And, uh, yeah, upgraded the armor. You know, just a productive day. We also got a new structure, which I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about a new structure. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Let me know what you think in those comments below. Subscribe for more, all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao!